Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the Baja S4 jacket and pant from Klein. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we are showing you the Baja S4 jacket and pant. Now the Baja gear was designed specifically for warm, hot weather riding conditions and built for the dual sport adventure rider who maybe wants to do some more aggressive off-road riding. But as we look at how this stuff is built, it can easily handle the pavement as well. So again, warm, hot weather riding to mind. Now before we dive in, we talk about the features of this gear. Let's just talk about fit real quick. So Daniel here, who is wearing it, Daniel's about six feet, six feet one inches tall. He's got just about a 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large jacket and then he's wearing a 32 pant. So the fit on this gear is a little bit roomier. If you've ever seen the Carlsbad gear from Climber, if you have that gear, the fit is going to be similar. They give you some extra wiggle room inside there. Again, if you're doing some aggressive off-road riding, you're gonna want a little bit of extra room in the jacket and pant. And you're gonna notice too, when we get through and talk about the materials, there's a lot of four-way stretch and some critical areas on the jacket to help this thing move with you. So you don't have any adjustment straps around the torso. You're just gonna have some here on the forearms. But keep in mind, this isn't a apparel item which means if you get the S4 jacket or pant or any set of adventure gear that we sell, if you don't like how it fits, you can send it back to some brand new unused condition. We wanna make sure you get the size and fit correct. So you could exchange it for the same jacket in a different size or a pant or a completely different brand, and we will give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange. All right, so with this gear, I also wanna point out right away that almost this entire jacket and pant is made from a mesh material. We're gonna talk about that. This stuff flows a ton of air. In fact, when you hold this jacket up to the, to the light, you can see that light coming through several patches of this jacket. So it's gonna flow a lot. So just keep in mind, there's no vents on here, so there's no way to shut that airflow off. So if you are gonna be riding in some cooler temperatures with this, maybe it's cool in the morning time, cool in the evening, or you maybe could get caught in some rain, Climb does make their Enduro S4 jacket and pant, which is meant to be worn over top of this gear, which is just a waterproof shell. It's a Scholar waterproof fabric that has four-way stretch. So if you do maybe plan to encounter some of those conditions, something that you would want to keep in mind, or as I pointed out, there is some extra room in this jacket. If you have maybe a mid-layer that you want to wear underneath this, you're going to have room to do that. All right, let's talk about what they've done to give you awesome ventilation, but still give you awesome protection with this jacket. So first up, the whole main body of this, you see all this light gray fabric here. You've got it in the chest, a little bit right here in the stomach. You've got it on the arms and the back. This is a shoulder Dynatech mesh. It is very, very abrasion resistant, but it also flows a lot of air. This is that fabric that I was telling you about that if you hold this up to the light, you can actually see through this. So you know you're getting a lot of airflow going through. And then inside this jacket, like I said, no waterproof liner. You're just going to have a moisture wicking liner on the inside there. But you've got that shoulder mesh here. Again, you've got it in the arms right here as well. And then you've got a lot of four-way stretch. They use their carbonite micro mesh on this jacket, so it's a very heavy duty, very abrasion resistant. You've got that here. Again, you've got it here. Daniel, quarter turn, kind of lift up the arm for me. So you've got that micro mesh, that carbonite, all down here. And again, like I said, this is a four-way stretch fabric. And then as you can see, like I mentioned, you've got plenty of room underneath that jacket. All right, face back to the front. So that's what's giving you that airflow. Now here on top of the shoulders, like I talked about the abrasion resistance, so again, if you're hitting the asphalt a lot, not only do you have that, but you also have super fabric in the shoulders and the elbows. Super fabric, we've seen this on some of the other pieces from Klein, like the Badlands that a lot of people are familiar with. This is one of, if not the most abrasion fabric that I have seen on any jacket or pant. So what super fabric is, if you've never heard about it, it's epoxy resins that are put onto heavy duty deniers and it is an incredibly abrasion resistant material, very durable, again, you have that in the shoulders and the elbows, and that is over top of D3 molecular armor, again, shoulders, elbows, CE level one, you got a nice big CE level one back pad on here as well. So, great protection scheme. As far as the adjustments go, like I mentioned, you're just gonna have these adjustment straps right here on the forearm. Now, pockets, there's a total of 10 pockets on this jacket. You've got four right here in the front. You've got these two cargo pockets. You've got two hand warmer pockets. You do have an ID pocket right here on the left forearm, and there is a hidden pocket inside there as well. So if you have any items with you that you don't want someone to possibly see, you can put them in that hidden pocket. And there is also another hidden pocket that lives inside the jacket. If you were to take this off and take the D3 armor out of the back, there's another pocket behind that. Daniel, turn and face the back for me. 
So in the back, you can see again, there's all that shoulder Dynatech mesh, getting all that hot air coming out the back. Again, underneath that, you're gonna have that big D3O molecular armor back protector, big rabbit pouch right here in the back. Now with the Enduro S4 jacket, I have not seen that in person yet but I would imagine that that jacket would fit inside this rabbit pouch here on the back. You've got good reflectivity right here at the top, face back to the front from Daniel. And then in true climb fashion, like we've seen, you've got the reflectivity here along the shoulders. You've also got in the arms. Climb always, when they build their jackets, they try and get that reflectivity so that it actually will show you the human shape on a motorcycle. So it's a good safety feature to have on the jacket. All right, up here at the top around the collar, you've got a nice, soft material here it's a fleece material it's not going to chafe the neck if you unzip this a little bit you can actually take these cords here and use those Let's see if i can do it here to hold that down and to hold that in place my only gripe with this as you just witnessed it's a little hard to do i really think you're going to struggle with a glove on to take that piece of elastic and find that little hook there so in my opinion i think they maybe should have made that a little bit larger the other feature that you're going to see is right here you have this other elastic loop inside this jacket there is a compartment for a water bladder now the water bladder does not come included however we do have those available on our website and they say you can get up to a three liter water bladder inside there which is nice if you're going to be Again, riding in warm and hot weather conditions, especially off-road, and you don't want to have to carry an extra pack with you and have some extra weight on your back, you can just put the water bladder inside there. And then this elastic loop is you can actually route the SIP tube up through the jacket, and then it will pop out right here in the top, and you can route it right through this elastic cord to, to keep it in place. So it's actually a cool little touch there. So if we unzip this, open it up. So you've got a few more pockets here on the inside. Again, you've got a zipper pocket, one on each side. We talked about that hidden compartment that you do have in the back. You also do have a pass-through right here for a kidney belt. So again, the kidney belt, like the water bladder, will not come included. But if you wanted to rock a kidney belt with this, they do give you the option to do that as well. And again, we'll show you that D3O backpack that you have in the back there. So that is the jacket. Again, built to flow a ton of air, like I said. You can't shut off any of that wind, so if you want to block that, check out the Enduro S4 jacket and the pant, or again, you could rock a good base layer. But now that we've talked about the jacket, let's get Daniel up and we'll talk about the pant. All right, so now we've got Daniel up on the box, we'll talk about the pant. So again, he's wearing a 32, so the pant, as far as the waist goes, is going to be true to size. Remember, the fitment on the pant is more of that dual sport adventure cut, so a little bit roomier. And you're going to have the same materials and construction in the pant as what we just talked about with the jacket. You've got that shoulder Dynatech mesh, you've got that carbonite micro mesh, you've got the super fabric over top the knees. So like the jacket too, there's not gonna be any vents on the pants, so it's all gonna flow that air. And again, we talked about that S4 Enduro pant. So what's unique about this pant, the Baja pant, and that Enduro pant is that they're both designed to work over top of a motocross boot. In fact, if you have that Enduro S4 pant that goes over this, you don't have to take your boots off to get the on, which is nice, especially if you do have off-road boots on. But if you look at it here, you see all that mesh in the front. You do have two big cargo pockets, one on each side. You've got that four-way stretch in the areas that you're going to need the most. Reflectivity here over the knees. You have D3O armor underneath that super fabric in the knees. Again, CE level one. You also do have hip pads on here. No tailbone pad in this pant. That's the only thing I saw where maybe it would be nice to have that. But as you work your way down, you look at the knee panels here. You can see high quality leather knee panel, even that is perforated to help this thing flow as much air as possible. And then when you look at the back, you've got a big zipper in the back to get a nice wide opening when you're putting these on. And you do have that adjustment strap on the back of the calf that we've seen with other pants from Klein. So overall, just like the jacket, again, built to flow as much air as possible. Great for more of that aggressive off-road riding, but like the jacket, you've got plenty of abrasion resistance and impact protection on there as well. All right, so that does it for the Baja S4 jacket and pant from Climb. Keep in mind, Daniel is also wearing the Adventure GTX boots from Climb, and he is wearing the Baja S4 glove, which you have a spotlight on as well. Just like the gear we talked about, that glove, awesome protection, but built to flow a lot of air. If you have questions or comments about this gear, we'd love to hear those, so make sure to leave those below. And to see this and the other colorways that are available, click on the link or head to RockyMountAtvMC.com. As always, all orders are over $75 ship free. If you like this product spotlight and you want to see more like it on other sets of gear from other manufacturers, do yourself a favor, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and stay up to date. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.